Hello, it's Camille from Pareto Education, and on this video, we will be discussing back pain. Back pain is an extremely common presentation, and you will see situations present in both primary care and also secondary care settings. There are three main causes of back pain. Firstly, mechanical and traumatic back pain. Could there be a history of trauma or heavy lifting? Does the patient have poor back health, such as a poor posture or sitting for extremely long periods of time? Are there associated neurological symptoms such as shooting pain down one leg? This is typical of a sciatica type picture. They also may present as an acute spasm which can be very very painful. The second type of back pain is inflammatory. This typically occurs in young people. Was there stiffness in the morning with a reduced range of movement and do non-steroidal anti-inflammatory agents help with the pain? Thirdly, malignancy. Is there weight loss or loss of appetite? Does the patient wake up in the night with pain? Is there any other systemic symptoms? Any weight loss? For example, in prostate cancer, this particularly commonly metastasizes to the spine. So do ask about urinary symptoms. Don't forget those all important red flag symptoms. Ask about the following. Is there loss of sensation around the perianal private pass area? Does the patient have loss of their control over their bladder or bowels, known as incontinence? Do they have any shooting pains, loss of sensation bilaterally on both of their lower limbs? If these are present, you should instruct the patient to seek urgent attention with a potential MRI scan warranted. Let's see an example of a back pain history in action. Hi, my name is Camille. I'm one of the physiotherapists at the practice. Can I take your name and uh, date of birth, please? Yeah, I'm uh, Alan Smith and I'm uh, 49 years old. So nice to meet you, Alan. I can see you're in a bit of back pain there. Um, is that right? That's probably why they referred you to myself as a physiotherapist. Yeah, I've got such terrible back pain. Um, I went to the receptionist to book an appointment and they said, you know, you were available. Um, I just need some help with it. It's so bad. Yeah, of course, we can definitely... Uh you know, ask you some questions about your back pain and probably get to a diagnosis and a management plan as well, if that's okay. Absolutely. I'm at your service. Thank you. All right, brilliant. So tell me, Alan, more about this back pain. When did it start? What's been happening? Well, this back pain has been happening for the past three days. Okay. I'm not sure what's brought it on, to be honest. It, I was fine. And then midday on that day, it just started. And since then, it's been so bad. So, so bad. I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, so tell me about the back pain I'll ask some specific questions about it I mean, tell me about the site of the back pain is it upper back middle of the back lower back I can see you holding it's the right side of my lower back okay and has it always been like that that's the case it's been always like that yeah okay. um, the, the thing that concerns me is the fact that this pain is not just in my back it's in my leg as well all right and it feels like the pain is stretching down from my back to my leg and is it just the right leg or both legs? Just the right leg. And has that been the case since the pain started? Pretty much so. Okay, fine. Um, and you said the pain started three days ago. Did it onset suddenly or was there a gradual increase in the pain or what happened around that time? Well, it wasn't suddenly. It wasn't, it wasn't like that. Okay. Um, I was fine in the morning. I got up, yeah. made some breakfast, came downstairs. I could feel a bit of a tinge in my back. I thought, hey, what's going on here? Mm. And then a few hours later, it was just getting worse and worse and worse. And I was doubled over in pain. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, it's just terrible. I could, I could cry right now. Yeah, I can see that. It's quite severe pain for you. <sighs> Most definitely. And I'm really sorry. I will try and do our best. Please. To get to the bottom of this. So you said it's, it's mainly started three days ago and, you know, like that tinge and then it got worse and worse. Has it gradually gone worse or has it stayed the same? It's pretty much stayed the same. Okay, fine. And tell me about the character of this pain. Is it a sharp pain? Is it a dull pain? Is it a stabbing pain? Is it like an electric type pain? It's an electric pain. Okay. You know, it's like a, it's like a constant shooting down my leg. Okay. From my back to my leg. Um, it sounds really severe, that actually. <sighs> I'm telling you, I wouldn't, worst, I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Mm, absolutely. And tell me about radiation. So radiation is just a word we use if the pain travels anywhere. I can see, you know, traveling to the right leg. Is that right? Yeah, just, just the right leg. And is it the whole right leg, the back of the leg, the front of the leg? It's the back of the leg. Okay. And all the way down to your feet? Yes. Left leg absolutely fine? 
Brilliant. Okay. And upper back, there's no be no issues. No, not at all. Okay. And are you getting any pain or unusual sensations around the private area, around the bottom, anything like that? Nothing at all. Okay, fine. And tell me about some associated symptoms. So you said it's mainly pain. Is there any weakness associated with this? No, no weakness. Okay. But, but I do have some numbness. Okay, you're feeling that the area is numb? Yes. Okay, and is that associated with the pain as well? It's just constantly there. Yeah. I mean, I can feel my leg. Mm. It's just feels odd hmm, I understand yeah so with this pain this numbness are you having any problems in daily activities I, I can't move very well you know I normally play golf I can't swing I can't walk around I can't sit I, I can't sit straight I just can't get comfortable you start with the pain uh, that's affected it's the pain yeah and do certain movements make the pain worse um, you know, the only thing that, I mean, everything makes it worse. The only thing that makes it better is if I was to lie on my left side. Okay. Okay. And just one last question about the leg, especially, and the back. Is there any pins and needles type sensation? Not really. No. Not even to the back, anything like that? No. Fine. And although the leg is numb, you can't feel the leg. You yes. Know, to touch the leg, you can't feel it. Okay. Brilliant. So, in terms of exacerbated factors, you've said that walking kind of makes it worse. Activity is any other like certain movements when you bend over. Does that sort of make it worse? Anything like that? I mean, I can't bend mm. because of the pain. Yeah, I can't straighten my back because of the pain. Yeah, I can't do anything. Okay. And tell me about things that can help the you know pain. Has anything helped? Pain relief? Anything like that? I've tried paracetamol and it's done nothing. Okay. And I haven't done anything else other than that. Fine. I've tried to keep moving because that's what I've read online to try and keep moving. But yeah. it's hard. Absolutely, it is. Yeah, definitely. So with this back pain, tell me about the severity of the pain. You know, you can use things like mild, moderate, severe, or you can use a scale of one to ten. I'd say it's a nine. Nine. So severe, very severe. Okay. I'll ask some certain questions in regards to this. We call these red flag questions. They just rule in or out some serious conditions that I have to think about okay. when a patient presents like this. So you said you've got no middle or upper back pain. No. Okay. And when this first happened, you didn't have a fall or there wasn't a trauma, not a sporting injury. No, nothing at all. No lifting heavy weights. No. Okay. No lifting, moving furniture, anything like that? No. Okay, fine. And when you're having, you know, since this has all started, have you lost sensation around the private area, around the, the bottom area? No, no, okay, no. Nothing like that. So when you're wiping, you kind of feel the, you know? Yeah. All right, brilliant. What about things like incontinence or control over the bladder and the bowels? You've not lost control or had any... Uh, moments of where you've not felt like you're not in control of those no no accidents and i feel like i'm in control okay brilliant so tell me about your health more generally have you been having fevers being systematically unwell having vomits with this all that kind of thing no i've felt all right aside from this all right and have you lost any weight in the past weeks to months off your appetite low energy no no i'm eating drinking uh, you know, my weight's been all right, been okay. fine. So what about things like inflammation generally? I mean, do you wake up with the pain as it, at its worst or does it get worse as the day goes on? No, I don't have any pain in the, you know, there's, there's no difference between the morning and the evening. Okay, and more generally, your joint health is okay, would you say? I mean, your hips, your knees, generally your hands? Yeah, absolutely, it's fine. Okay, fine. So in the morning, would you feel any stiffness in your back? No, not really, no. No, okay, you are still able to get out of bed. Yeah. Okay. So we've talked about a little bit about this back pain. I'll ask more about your general health and then we can go on to potentially what could be causing this. Yeah. Did you have any concerns when you first came in? Any ideas about what could be going on? Or? Um, no, I mean, I, I just want to get better. So that's what your expectation is. Absolutely. I just want to get walking and doing things again. Sure, absolutely. We'll try and help you best we can with that. Please. Okay. So a bit more about your general health. Have you got any other medical conditions that you're under a specialist for or uh, you see a GP for, long-standing or short? No, nothing at all. I'm, I'm fit and well. So no breathing conditions, asthma, COPD, heart conditions, no diabetes? No, nothing at all. Okay. And no liver disease? Nothing at all. Okay. Tell me about your drug history. I mean, you said you've got no medical conditions and you mentioned the paracetamol. 
Did you have any other medications that you're taking recently? No, I don't take anything. You don't take anything? Nothing over the counter, no supplements? No. No herbal remedies? No. Okay. And are you allergic to anything? No. Okay. More in terms of your social side, what's your occupation? Well, I'm semi-retired. Yeah. Uh, I was an accountant. So I don't go into work aside from maybe once or twice a day. Okay. Um, and I spend most of my time golfing and traveling. And So I live, I live a very, very healthy and active lifestyle. Okay. Uh, you know, which makes me even more surprised that I've got back pain. Mm, it can happen. It's actually very, very common. Okay. Back that, pain, you know, it can 10, 15% of consults in general practice do associate with back pain. That, that's, you know, that's reassuring in some ways. Yeah. So tell me about, you know, things like smoking. Are you a smoker? No, I'm not a smoker. Non-smoker. And what about alcohol intake? Never drank it. No, no. Okay, fine. Um, and tell me a little bit about your past medical history in terms of your family. Um, is there any conditions that run in the family? Anything like cancer? Anything like arthritis? Mm. Rheumatism? No, not that I can think of, no. Okay. Uh, no autoimmune diseases, anything like that? No. Okay. Brilliant. Um, what's going on? I mean, what, what's happening to me? I mean, definitely I can, I've got my main ideas and of course I would like to examine you, but at the moment my top differential is something called sciatica. Right, okay. Have you heard of this? I've heard of it, but it would be good to know about it. So sciatic pain is normally associated with the sciatica nerve, which runs down uh, the back and into the, the legs as well. Okay. Sometimes when this is impinged or uh, affected by, and it could be anything really, it could be, you know, you woke up funny or you know, you're laid funny, you could have had a sort of trauma, but sometimes we never get to the bottom of the cause. Impingement basically means that the sciatica nerve is basically um, affected or squeezed Mm. Um, could be due to uh, the discs within the, the vertebra of the spinal column, which is the individual bones, mm. which may up the spinal column. And that can sometimes affect the nerve, causing quite classically these symptoms. Fine, fair enough. So you'll experience uh, back pain and unilateral, meaning one leg pain, oftentimes weakness, uh, a bit of weakness, pins and needles, so, uh, maybe some numbness around that area as well. That very much sounds like me. Mm. So in terms of management of Static is quite a difficult condition to manage in terms of getting complete control of it, but we do have some effective strategies. Please, I'd try anything at this moment. What, what do I do? As a physiotherapist, I can give you some good exercises that can help your back health, also to keep you more mobile, and you know certain exercises that can help with certain twisting, bending motions that you can do with quite regularly at home, and this will help with your symptoms. Sounds good. And also building up the back muscles to support the spine. Mm -hmm. The other thing is pain relief and analgesia. So I can see that you've been trying paracetamol, but the research shows that good for this condition is something called anti-inflammatory non-steroidal medication. So non-steroidal anti-inflammatory such as ibuprofen. Those normally work quite well. Are you able to take ibuprofen? I am, yes, yeah. Just as a precaution, we'll also give you um, something to protect your stomach, something called lansoprazole. Okay, thank you very much. Excellent. Also, things like self-help, such as cold and heat packs, can often help as well. Okay. We'll keep an eye on you, and in the next couple of weeks, I'd like to see you back in this clinic, um, just to see how you're getting on with your symptoms. Okay. See if there's any change. Sure. In the meantime, I want to warn you about a few symptoms. That yeah. If these present, I'd really want you to see a general practitioner or present to A&E settings. Okay. These are increasing worsening of pain or no difference. Uh, with the interventions in place. Mm -hmm. um, anything like, you know, the numbness around the, the private area or the back passage. Right. Any loss of continence of the bowels or bladder. Mm -hmm. You feeling unwell in yourself, vomits, fevers associated with the pain. Mm -hmm. Any of these sort of symptoms, I would definitely get immediate medical attention for that. Okay. With either a general practitioner or probably a &E. &E. Okay. No, that's, that's very reassuring. Thank you so much for your help today. So, Alan, do you have any further questions for me at this moment in time? No, none at all. Um, no. Okay, thank you very much for your time. I'll, we'll see you very soon. Thank you. Thank you. And I hope this back pain with these interventions uh, improves and you can go back to your golf and your normal activities. I hope so too. Thank all you so much. Thank you. Thank you.